Alrighty guys, what is up? And today, 9.12 beta has come out. And oh, oh boy. Uh, there's a lot of people upset about something. At least two people I've seen that are upset, but I'm I'm sure a lot of a lot more people are upset than I've seen on Twitter. Uh, but I went on this morning and I saw that people were upset. Anyway, ranked games you now need a login to play competitive matches. Login gate is here. Now we're gonna. It's just the first day of beta. It's probably gonna be a couple hackers. So if you're planning on getting the beta and not getting hackers, then you're probably sadly mistaken. Wait, I'd say a day or two, and just just wait. Um, there are improvements. New client and server security measures. Again, anti-cheat. Um, it's probably not the best. It's probably not tweaked just right, but it's there. Uh, and... There's a weapon balance update. Don't know what they balanced. Um, CFE, if you're watching this, I'd, I'd kind of like to see that just either on the Trello or on the patch notes, if y'all get the chance. I know y'all, like, there's probably, like, only a certain amount of stuff you can put in this, you know, what's new box on Google Play. But, you know, just just a, just a thought, maybe. Also, user onboarding experience updated. I'm guessing that's for new users and how to sign them up and get an account and stuff. I don't know. Also fixes performance improvements. Now, there is also a brand new feature um, that we've seen in pretty much every other game. Let's log in. And log in the same auto login. Um, but there's a new tab at the bottom, the critical pass. Um, so we now have a battle pass feature in critical ops. Now, the elite tiers contain exclusive skins, premium cases, credits, and more. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. That is definitely going to get me to spend my money, first off. Second of all, people are already pissed off at this. Now, it's not even out yet, technically. It's not even started, and people are already pissed off. Um, I know Insane X and Zero iOS said, if I have to pay money for this, then yeah, I'm done. Oh, that, that's liter Oh, and Carnegie, I'm guessing it's going to cost money, lol. The whole point of a fucking battle pass is to pay for the elite tier. <gasps> oh my god. Who would have fucking thought? You know? Who would have fucking thought that you would need to pay for a battle pass? It's not like every other fucking game has it. It's, I mean, you don't have a problem with it being in Fortnite. You don't have a problem with it being in... Um, in, in uh, PUBG Mobile, but that you know that's okay. You know, um, it, it it people are just fucking retarded. Cause Insane X, if I can hurry up and find it, he said something to the to, to the something to the effect of. Um, excuse me. Oh, God. Um, he said something to the effect of, oh, or Zero iOS said, oh, if I have to pay for this, the game's definitely dying. If you have to pay for this, the game's definitely dying. It's like, no, it's not. Like, the whole point of this is for Critical Ops to make more money. Now, maybe that's the reason they're mad. Oh, you, you know, they need to stop getting us to pay for shit. Well, you want better servers. You want a better game. 
For a better game, you need more staff. For better servers, you need more. Ser uh, you need better servers, which require more money than they're currently playing, paying per month right now. So, you need to pay Critical Force to do this. Like, I don't see why people are pissed off at this. It's something new. Again, not even out yet. And people are already pissed off. Let it be out for a couple days or something. Let it, you know, let's see what it is. Instead of, nope. Fucking critical force, you fucking bitch. Making us pay for shit. Oh. The XD is apparently $500 now. That's one of the weapon changes. But, like, it's just in... It's insane. Um, insane X. If I have to pay for the critical pass at all, I swear to God. Like, wh what do you think is... What do you think is going to be? Zero iOS. If you have to pay for this, the game will literally die. You don't have to pay for it. You have to pay for it to get better things. Just like any other fucking game. See, the thing is, they don't... The thing that gets me... I know Insane plays uh, PUBG Mobile, I believe. He doesn't have a problem with the Battle Pass being in that. Does he buy it? Probably not. Oh, wait, what the fuck? No, stop. You're lying. I just realized. Hold up. Oh, oh! Your loading screen. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, I just realized something. In Insane's tweet, no! What the fuck? The GSR is six hundred dollars. What the fuck? And so you can't buy a nade. You can only buy a flash. Oh no! Rip, rip. Ah. Oh. Ripper Magoo's boys. But no, anyway. So, like, I don't see why people have a problem with the critical path. Long story short, I don't see why people have a problem with it. Um, it, it's just... It's just insane that people are actually getting this angry about it. I mean, goat's happy. Uh, God's happy. I called him goat. Well, God's happy. I'm happy. I'm sure a lot of people who actually want something like this or want Critical Ops to succeed are going to be happy with this. <laughs> and talk to hand. Put a meme, critical pass, and it's like this dude smiling. Let me make sure nothing else has changed. Still 2,600. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else has changed except for that. That actually sucks. Um, but critical pass, and it's this dude smiling, and then that face with no ma uh, that face when no battle royale game mode, and the dude's like, what? But anyway, it's like, I don't get it. Like, it's just, uh, 
it's frustrating that these people say that you know they want critical ops to succeed or whatever and then they actually don't um i think gray fox gray fox is from his tweet he said new critical pass with missions where you can get exclusive skins exclamation point we'll see how it is he seems kind of skeptical about it but he seems like oh okay this could be cool Rugs. So Critical Ops game is going to introduce their own battle pass called the Critical Pass. Thoughts? And then that's what I tweeted. Uh, thoughts? Only that I'm going to have less money now. LMAO. Um, so, um, it, it's going to be... Uh, it, everyone's doing battle passes. Because they see how successful it is with Fortnite. And it's just... It's smart. Um, it's just... It's just weird. I don't know. Um... I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah. I know I sound kind of, uh... I know it, I'm, I'm kind of... Eh. And, like... Bleh about it. But... I... I want... I want this to work. I want the critical pass to work, and I think it will for most people. Me, definitely, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to get it. Probably not until next month or whenever it comes out. Um, hopefully, I'm, gonna, I'm about to play a ranked, going to record a ranked, and hopefully, no hacker. By the way, did they make this longer? Probably not. Nine rounds, yeah, no. They didn't make it longer. That I made. Nope, oh, six rounds. But yeah, so I'll leave you guys with that. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Funny thing is, the Trello hasn't been updated yet. Uh, there's supposed to be CPU performance regression fixes in 12 or 9.12 and memory optimization, um, along with ranked gate. Uh, R I T I C A L P A S S. So yeah, that's critical pass. They haven't updated it. It's still question marked. So that's critical pass. Um. So yeah, it it's gonna be interesting, and it's it's can't wait to see what happens. Like for real. Um. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, by the way, they didn't announce that their uh, their stuff was, uh, the, the patch notes were put in. So, weapon balance updates. General, Kevlar and helmet give more protection against aim punch. Bingo. Pistols. GSR 1911, accuracy while moving and jumping decreased. Price increased from 500 to 600. MR 96, accuracy while moving and jumping decreased. Price decrease, or XD45, price decreased from 600 to 500. Dualies minimum and maximum damage increased. Wait. Oof. Excuse me? Dualies are going to be OP now. They're OP as it is. Anyway, shotguns. All shotguns. FP6, Super 90. Overall range decreased. Boom. There we go. They fix it. Snipers. All snipers. TRGU ratio and 14. Accuracy while moving and jumping decreased. Feels bad, man. Um, so, developer comments. Aim Punch versus Kevlar and Helmet. Kevlar and Helmet now give an increased protection against Aim Punch. Aim Punch has been something that the community... Uh, the best stroke. Aim Punch has been something that the community has asked us to improve. And a lot of good ideas and suggestions regarding the Aim Punch have been received from the community. While we can't act on all the feedback, the changes introduced now should give a solid way to counter the Aim Punch. Pistol and Sniper running and gunning. As a... Con 
continuation of the movement and jumping accuracy changes we introduced in 9.9, .9, the accuracy of all the snipers, GSR-1911 and MR-96, are being decreased for moving and jumping. This is because we believe that for all weapons which power comes through their accuracy, aiming should be part of the effective and skilled usage of those weapons. Now, I don't think the sniper, like, if it's, if it's unscoped sniper um, accuracy, that I can get. Because I've hit some fucking crazy shots just fucking jumping and shooting. And... Wait, it said... Oh, wait. Huh, sorry. Dual MTX, minimum and maximum damage decrease. Okay, I read that wrong. Sorry. Um, so, we'll see. Pistol and sniper running and gunning, yeah, that I can get. Um, but the sniper, I'm just, I'm, I'm worried how that's going to affect sniper players. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, XD45, GSR1911 price swap, and dual NTX damage decrease. The GSR has been a really powerful due to its price and players being able to buy grenades with it. XD45, on the other hand, has been less popular due to it being a close-range pistol and due to its similarity to the more powerful dual NTX, both being fast close-range pistols. Swapping, swapping the GSR and XD prices allows the players to utilize grenades with XD instead of GSR, making the XD more powerful weapon to use. In addition to the price change, to further enforce the XD and to enforce the weapon characteristics, dual MTX damage is slightly decreased to make it more of a cool weapon. <laughs> MTX is still slightly more powerful than the XD, but due to its price, XD should now be a more attractive option. So that's a heavy um, meta change. Shotguns. The weapon data we've gathered, the general player feedback shows that the shotguns, especially the Super 90, are too powerful even at long range. Shotguns aren't meant to be extremely powerful at close range when XD useless at longer range. The decrease of overall range of both shotguns is done to support these characteristics. And now tutorial improvements. Developer comment: The beginner experience is a very important. Er, I can read. The beginner experience is very important to us, and to improve it, we added an obligatory tutorial match in the tutorial. This is a very short team death match against bots, and the player will have their weapons preset to the M4, P250, and knife. Tutorial match is not yet meant to be a game mode, but rather an additional part of the tutorial. Currently, you can only access it with a fresh install of CIOPS, so you cannot replay as you can the tutorial. And yes, this means we will be adding practice mode in the near future. So yeah, they already said practice mode was going to be coming in. But the fact that they have bots in game now, at least on a local server side, is amazing. Other fixes and updates. CPU performance regression fixes, memory optimization, new client improvements, improvements, oh, sorry, server security measures. So I wanted to get that out. Also, there is a... There is a, um, what you call it, a screenshot of the critical pass. It shows three tiers, and there's... Tier 1 is a, or tier 1 for Elite at least, is a custom AK skin. Tier 2 for Elite is a tier 1 box, tier 3 is a tier 1 box, and you can kind of see tier 4 a bit. It's, it's coins, that's why you could see it, but uh, it, it's yellow credits, so, uh, and it puts asterisk, picture was taken during alpha testing, so it's going to be interesting, um, preseason starts 11th of October, it says, so, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be um, something fun, now, also, This would be a great time. Maybe not for preseason battle pass, but for season one. It'd be a perfect time to reset ranks. Perfect time to reset ranks. Um, it'd be a perfect time to start fresh. Whether y'all are going to start season one when 1.0 is released or whatever um just i think this is the perfect thing 
to do since y'all have said y'all wanted to do ranked seasons before and you know you haven't quite gotten there yet um so yeah it, it's it's interesting to see and again we'll see what happens um but yeah so that's that i just wanted to put that in there as well um so yeah if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace